Mahasya Dhyanan Jana Samakaya Chakshurun Vilita Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Vansha Kalpata Vobhyasya Kripa Sindhobhyai Vacha Patita Nampa Madhyo Vaishnavedhyo Namo Mahabhadanaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Ye Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurati Sena Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhikaya Tadalaya Krishna Ye Krishna Vaktaya Tadavaktaya Namo Namo Tavai Vasmi Tavai Vasmi Najivamitaya Vina Iti Vigyaya Radhe Tangne Maam Charanam Tite First of all, my heartly obeisance as in the Lotus Feet of Parma Radhatam Nitta Lila Pravesh Om Vishnupad Sutta Sishmar Bhakti Pradhyan Kesav Goswami Guru Pat Patma Gita and send it the lotus feet of my Siksha Guru. Nitta Lila Pravishtam Vishnupada Sota Sushmat Bhakti Veda Ruswami Nara. My dear Sanyasi, Brahmachari, Vaishnav and Vaishnavika. Yesterday we discussed Guru Tattva. Who is Guru? When a Guru can be cancelled and a new guru can be done. What is Diksha Guru? Siksha Guru. All these that to be discussed. Now we are coming that Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has told in Chaitanya Chaitamrit the reasons for which Chaitanya Krishna took the intrinsic beauty of Radhika and came in this world as Sachinandan Gaudhari. So, there are so many regions. First, Rasananda Brahmachari may... Gautapal Bhattar? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can? You? I can do. Sudhar Bhattar. तुम भी बोलते, तुम भी बोलते पर, अच्छा तो, ओम अग्नि मिरांग रस्सा के नान्यन सलाखया, चतुर्मी दंजे न तस्मयी सिगुरोहीनो, गुरोहीगुरा चंद्राया राधिका वितदारे, कृष्णाय कृष्णभक्ता and presented all of my respectful guests. 
Dr. Gurudev, thanks mercifully. He gave me a chance to speak about Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But region Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come in this Kali Yuga. We are very fortunate. We have born in this age of Kali Yuga. Especially Lord Chaitanya, especially Lord Krishna has come in this Kali Yuga in the form of Sajinanda Gaur Hari. Krishna, he took Srimuti Radhika's complexion and her bhav, sentiment moves. Radha bhav, bhuti. Lohiya Krishna avatir no vailo gaura rupi. Chaitanya Chaitanya Krishna Das Kaviraja Swami has described. Same Krishna, he has come in this Kali Yuga in the form of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He took Srimuti Radhika's complexion and her sentiment moves. Actually, in our Acharya Specialist Chaitanya Chaitanya Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami explained, there are two reasons Krishna has come in this Kali Yuga in the form of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One is called primary uh, Primary reason and another is called secondary reason. Primary reason two and secondary reasons also two. Primary reason, first of Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami explained, the <coughs> Premura, the, the calling of Advaita Acharya and also the <coughs> Siradha Prana Mahima Kidusa Vanaiva Saddo Jana Mudhurima Kidusa Vamudhyo Sokhat Madhurta Kidusa Veti Rova Tata Bhava Dasma Sama Jana Rupa So in this way the first tense is first primary reason the calling of Advaita Acharya is the great devotee. Lord, he comes in this material world when he is great, a great devotee. He calls him, then he comes from Guru Vrindavan in this material world. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself told his devotee, Suti Achim Ami Kira Samudre Morinitra Bhagira Nara Bhunkari. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself told and glorified about Advaita Acharya in the assembly of devotees. Yeah, I, am, I was sleeping in the ocean of milk, chit samudra, and the Nara, that means Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nara means who sets me, sets me, at the means Advaita Acharya, his Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him Nara, that means he also said. Lord Chaitanya, Advaita Acharya, when he came in this material world, that, that time he saw that all the brahmanas, especially those who are highest person in the society, they did not follow any rules and regula regulations of the scriptures. Even, and they did not chant proper way, holy holy names, and just they are being logistic people, they are being to each others, and going to the ganges, and urging and to classes, and class to each others. And rich people, just they wasted their money with the marriage of she cat and he cat. In this way they wasted. And they worship demigod, demigod and demigodess, Kali sheep, this types of this, and they did very simple activities. They Madhuito Acharya, he became very angry. And he told, if my Lord will not appear in this material world, then I will manifest my poor arms. And they also I destroyed this material world. Then, then the adult sound, spiritual sound cap came from the <coughs> sky and told him, Advaita Acharya, don't worry, within few days, you are Ishta Dev, Krishna Vaidana Sanchand, or he would appear in Navadhi Vidham. So Krishna has come here very clearly explained the calling of Advaita Acharya. Krishna has come in this Kali in the form of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Second, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami explained, just yesterday we heard when Krishna departed from this material world in the age of Tapurju, when Krishna was sitting in Gaur Vrindavan, that time Krishna was thinking, everybody attracted with my beauty, everybody attracted with my sweet fragrance, Sugandha, everybody enchanted of my all activities. But when I remember Simuti Radhika, that time I could not control my mind. Then Krishna is thinking, then Krishna is thinking 
and what kind the prem of Simhanjali Radhika in her heart. Anar ek sikshi radha pranavahima kridiso ganariba sadho jana mathurma kridiso ganariba sakkum cha madhumudha kridiso viti loha tadha patna samadana sachi garbha sindhu harindu. Sarvudamudha in his karcha in his karcha very clearly explain. This is the main reason Krishna has come in this kalijuk. In the form of our Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, here in this country, our Acharya Gurudev many times explains there are three regions: Sriadha, Pranay, Mahima. What is the holiness? The sweet, there's love of Simhanti Radhika with Vishnu. Then second, Sriadha, what is my beauty? Only Simhanti Radhika is tested. And third, when Simhanti Radhika is tested of my beauty, what kinds of Realization Urbhuti has come in her heart. For these three reasons, Krishna has come in this Kaliju in the form of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he took Srimati Radhika's sentiments, bhav, and, his, and her complexion. Second, our Akar Judev explained in this way. The second primary reason, second primary reason that the Krishna is saying in this Krishna Aspamirava explained. This is his own <coughs> desires, how to enjoy the Prem Ras need just this thing. But the essence of Prem Ras, good they explain this very confidential thing to understand about what is the essence of Prem Ras. Sraddha to Asraddha to Prem, Prem to Sehuman, Pranarad, Uradhav, Mahabhav, Rura Padhira, Mudan Madhanak, Mahabhav. Even Madhanakha Mahabhav has many kinds of sentiments, activities. So Krishna, Krishna is thinking, what is the Simhuti Radhika of this thing? Prem Ras Asraddha. But Krishna is thinking, Krishna is very Karun, Vasit Sikhar Krishna Parama Karun. Krishna is very merciful and he Parama Karun. He is very merciful and thinking in this Kaliju, I will, I will indiscriminately distribute this prayer all over the world. So that is this prayer. So our Rupa Goswami path explain in this way. In this way, Anar Prima Chagin Chirat Kuruna Abhatir Nakkalu Samar Payatu Kuruna Takurchala Rasan Sarhakti Sriya Hari Hipparta Sundar Dati Kadam Basandhi Pita Satara Hidare Kandare Puratu Baha Sachi Nandana. Sachi Nandana Gauhari Rupa Goswami path he is giving blessing to us. He is not saying Bah in this verse, so speak verse. He is, he is saying, so Sachinandana Gauhari is very merciful. He is giving blessing to all to us. He is not saying, Oh Sachinandana Gauhari, only give two blessings to me. Sachinandana Gauhari, he is great, he is giving blessing everybody. He is anarpita charim chira na arpitam anarpitam. In this verse, our Acharya Dev explain. For every college, he does not come. One thousand of Chatur Jugas, in the end of Tapur Jugas, in the beginning of the college, Yuga, same Krishna, he has come in the form of Sachinandar Gaur Hari. So, Anurvita, that means so long time he did not offer these types of prayer. What kinds of prayer? Did Haikos prayer, Madhujara, Srimuti, Radhika's Madhujara, that you can say. Rajita. Is that we are Jodi Gauranga Noita, Tabeki Hoita, Kemone Tori Tande, Radha Romohima, Premora Sosima, Jagate Jana Toke. What is the last limit of love of Simuti Radhika, Radha's Prem? What is the last limit of Radha's Prem? Who will, who will discover this thing, such an under God Hari? Though before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and many Acharyas came, but they did not try their Vidya Bhati Chandiras, they also explained these things little bit touch, but that prayer only limited with the kings and others, not to the everywhere. And they did not discuss about the very confidential mood of Srimati Radhika that is called Manjari Bha. Before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, no one discussed about the highest of Simuti Radhika's and her 
sprinkle more that we call one manjari bhag in this bhag amar mitra chali chiral karu ne avatir na karu samar payatu unnat uchalasan samar payatu he himself drinks this prayer last week of simati radhika's prayer because conditional conditions so they can't to drink the simati radhika's prayer this prayer because one small ants cannot drink the whole Little of the ocean. Just sit here and drink one little bit, and one sprinkle of the nectar, then his stomach will be very full. Will be full. In the same way, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained in this way. Krishna Das Kumara very clearly explained. By the righteous person, by the righteous person, Samudra Talakam. That means the. Only when only touch the little, eh, little way, little sprinkle of the water, ah, uh, innumerable water in the ocean. But when or yeah, only touch little bit. In the same way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is thinking, how possible condition so, eh, how possible living entities they will drink this frame rather frame this side. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he indiscriminately in this kaliju. Yeah. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gauras Gauras Sundar, he did this thing, discover this thing. Brother, brother, bunch of his prema, chaturi parakya bhav. Before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sanatan, no one. Before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, no one discussed about the paramurmur bhav. One day I asked Gurude, Gurude, very clearly explained in his very nice, beautiful latest book, Ras Panchatthai. Ras Panchatthai. No one can realize these things. Even Krishna's lila. I also direct discuss with Guru and Madhu Maharaj. The Guru Dev told these things. In, in the, even in the Krishna's proper lila, even Prajapati's, they did not understand what is the Simhati Radhika and Gopi's relationship with Krishna. What is that the Prakriya Bhav? These things Guru Dev very clearly explained. I have no time. So Guru Dev explained. But after Krishna Srila, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu elaborately and our Acharyas, especially Rukh Goswami Pal, Sanatana Goswami Pal, Jiva Goswami Pal, Vishwanath Chakravarti Pal, Varadevi Dhamsan Prabhu and all of our Pasali Guru Dev, very clearly explain what is the frame of Simuti, Radhika's frame, what is the mood of Manjari's mood. This thing very clearly explain. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will not have to explain What is the meaning of Ekaras and and what is the meaning of Bahuras? Guru Dev very clearly explains in this verse. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu indiscriminately, indiscriminately he distributed this prem all over the world and everybody flooded. Personally, Guru Dev he goes everywhere all over the world and he discuss the contribution of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This book on our the chain in Chirag Karana Bhati Irna Karo. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. For this reason, he has come in this material world to display his pain. This last time I have explained in this way. Amarina praja pain nahi panne dite. Very clearly explained. No one can display this pain except Sachinanda ne kaura hori. Only Sachinanda ne kaura hori. He will give us praja pain. No one can give us. So Sachinanda ne kaura hori. He is very merciful. Second and secondary. Reason and second and second. Uh, second reason is that the Krishna Sabira ex explained in this way Juga Dharma Pravart Juga Dharma Juga Dharma or Juga Dharma Pravartan Nam Sankirtan. The Juga Dharma Pravartan or Nam Sankirtan to establish Juga Dharma and Nam Sankirtan. This is not the uh, activities of Krishna. This is the duty of uh, his Juga Avatar. Every Juga Juga Avatar day. They are coming. They establish Juga Dharma. But when Krishna has come in this material world, then automatically all his incarnation has come. Hey, so Krishna Das Kaviraj explained in this way. Hey, Amadara Vis Vistu Dare Kare Osura Sangha. Krishna killed the killed the demons with his incarnation of Vishnu, and Vishnu also establishes Juga Dharma. Nam Prem. 
Nam Sakirtan is a Yuga Dharma. But in every Kali Yuga, not Krishna is coming, not Mahaprabhu is coming. One empowered Jiva, blackish in color, is coming. This is written in Lagu Bhagavatam Rita. But is not giving Braja Prem, is giving general Prem, Vaikuntha Prem. At best, you can go to Vaikuntha Lok. But Mahaprabhu has come to establish the international society not for Vishnu consciousness, but for Krishna consciousness. So when he is coming, he is not distributing Vaikuntha Prem, general Prem, he wants to give Braja Prem. Therefore, when he came, he came with two agendas. His personal agenda, that Maharaj has so nicely described, he wants to enjoy personally you know, something very, very special. He wants to understand why Shri Dika, she is enjoying so much more than I am. No. When I'm with her, I'm in bliss, but I can see, oh, her bliss is much higher than mine. What is she tasting? What is the glory of that love? What is she experiencing? And he's thinking, there must be something in me which is very attractive because I see she's wishing so much. So what is the sweetness in me? What are those qualities she's attracted to and she's experiencing love to? Then he's also feeling, and what type of pleasure she's experiencing, I would like also to do that. Now, in order to do that, he has to become her. No. Therefore, taking her path, taking her color, he comes in this world and experiences that position. And at that time, his associates from the spiritual world, they come with him to assist him. And they will try to help him experience this. When in the spiritual world, Shri Dika, she's always in Vamya Bha, Vamya Mood, opposite. No, she plays hard to get, just to spice the relationship, just to help Krishna relish more and more. When she comes in this material world, in the Lila of Mahaprabhu, she comes as Gadada Pandit, but in the mood to assist him, she becomes submissive. She's not coming and playing hard to get, because now he wants to tell something different. You know in Shmatra Dika's book there's only one word, how to please Krishna, how to give him happiness. So she will adapt, adjust her mood for him to be able to be happy. Now in this Kali Yuga, he wants to be happy in a particular way, he wants to test her love, understand her love and try to experience that. So she'll adjust her mood for that. As Galala found it, she will, uh, uh, someone in the theater is prompting the lines of the players, she will prompt him in different ways. In the pretext of giving Bhagavatam class, she will tell him what she's experiencing during the particular leaders. Because in the Bhagavatam, what we have is a lila experienced by Krishna, on Krishna's side always. Now, as Galala, she's pounding, she's coming and said, in this particular lila, this is what I was experiencing. See, you want to experience it, this is the way. And because it is not sufficient, she will send her two associates, Lalita and Vishaka, from Gadaud. Saluta Vodaru Swami and Ramananda Roy. And in the Gambira, intimately, they will prompt him. They will nourish and nourish his blood. They will come as examiners because no, he is supposed to take an exam. No, he is supposed to experience the love of Radhika. Now, how much is he experiencing? What is the proof that he is doing? There must be someone to. Uh, what is that? Examine, examiner? to examine, so those two are examiners and they see how much he's able to do that. Now, this is for himself, but because he's not only a sick shaker, but also Paramakarun, so merciful, he also wants to give everyone a chance to experience that highest type of love. He wants to relish it, he wants to give it to us so we can also love him with that. Because that's what he has made us for. No. I think one time we did give an example, just like Every flower has a particular aroma, so every jiva has a particular mood of seva and love. And Krishna has made all the jivas to experience this particular type of love that each of them has. So when he comes as Mahaprabhu, he's distributing praying, Raja praying, so that they can all know, love him in that way. So,
Secondly, I offer my pranam thousands of times at the lotus feet of my Sri Rupananga Gaudiya Guru Parampara and I offer my pranam at the lotus feet of Ananya Tirani Pargan and all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. So Srila Gurudev ordered me to speak on the subject matter of the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, especially two verses, Anarpitatarin Tirat Purnayavate Nahakalo and another verse, Sri Radhaya Panya Mahima Kidishovanayava. First verse is composed by Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. He's saying that he's giving a benediction. May the son of Sachi appear in the core of your heart, in the cave of your heart. A cave is a very secret place. And very often caves are actually very dark. And dangerous animals, snakes and wild elephants may live in that cave. But if here Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is compared to a lion, Hari, if a lion will go into the cave and roar, Hari Bol! Then all the elephants and snakes, they will leave. So in the same way, Rupa Goswami Pad is saying, may that golden complexion, Sachinandan Gohari, manifest in the cave of your heart, loudly chanting the divine names, Niduvara Nagari, Mohitamana, Savidit Gadgada Bahasan, his voice choking, tears streaming from his eyes, his heart melting, and calling the name of Krishna, 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 in bewildered. In the mood of Shimati Radhika, may that Satyananagor Hari appear in your heart and then all anarta, all unwanted desires, all apparats, they will flee at once. Now that Satyananagor Hari, he has appeared in this age of Kali out of his causeless mercy to give what no one has given before. So, what is that? As we have heard from Vaishnavas, the reasons for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance are primarily two. Internal and external. Internal reason means for himself and external means for the benefit of others. So the internal and external reasons are divided into two, primary and secondary. The secondary external reason is to establish the Yuga Dharma of Nam Sankirtanam. As you know, Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita, as you know, Sri Krishna has said in Bhagavad Gita, Yada Yada Hi Dharmasya, Lanya Bhavati Bharata, Abhuta Nama Dharmasya, Tadatma Sujamyaham, Purita Naya Sadhu Nam Vinasya Saduskritam, Dharma Sangstapanataya, Sambhavami Yuge Yuge. I appear millennium after millennium to establish Dharma, to annihilate demons, and to uh, deliver the sadhus, and so on. Sri Krishna explained this, but actually, the business of maintaining dharma or establishing dharma in the universe is not Krishna's business. Lord Brahma creates, Lord Shiva destroys, and Lord Vishnu, he maintains. So there's no need for Sri Krishna to appear to establish the Yuga Dharma. But it so happened that when the, when the time came to establish Yuga Dharma, Advaita Charya was calling Krishna to come. So Sri Krishna came into this world and just as Krishna, when he appears and does his own lila, he's tasting rasa, he's tasting the mellows of love of his devotees. But Lord Vishnu, who is present within him, kills demons. 
So similarly, when Krishna comes as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he has come for his own reasons. And incidentally, Lord Vishnu within him establishes the Yuga Dharma. See, Krishna said, Yuga Dharma Pravatana Hoya Ansa Hoyte Ami Bina Nahi Anye Braja Premadite my answers, my expansions of Lord Vishnu, they can establish Yuga Dharma. But only I can distribute Vraja Prem. So the secondary external reason, that is for others, was to establish Yuga Dharma. But the primary external reason was to give Vraja Prem. The Raga Maga Bhakti, the path to attain the uh, Vraja Prem, and especially within that, Anarpitatirinchirat Krunayavatrina Hakalo Samarpayita Munnata Ujjwara Sam Sobhakti Sriyam To give the mood of the maid servants of Radhika. Why? This is the highest thing that can be given to any jiva. No living entity can experience what Radhika is feeling. But those who are fully dedicated, one pointed in the service of the lotus feet of Radhika, for them, some particle, some atom of her look may be reflected into their hearts. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu very mostly is giving this, it was the primary external reason. Now we move to the internal reasons. And as we have heard, the secondary internal reason was Where is such a great personality gone as Advaita Acharya? Or, Heno Prabhu Kotagela, Namacharya Silaharda Stapur. Because at the same time as Advaita Acharya was in Shantipur and calling Krishna to come, at the same time, Sri Silaharda Stapur, he was in Fulia and he was also crying and begging Sri Krishna to appear. So, Krishna being obliged by the power, controlled by the power of their bhakti, he could not check himself and he had to appear. It was the secondary internal reason. Now we are coming to the primary internal reason. The root cause of everything, for which all the other things, they are incidental to this. Srila Sarup Damodar, in his Goswami, in his Kadacha, he composed the verse and thereby he has established the absolute and burning necessity for Sri Krishna to appear as Sachinandan Gohari. Sri Radhaya Pranaya Mahima. Krishna wanted to know what is the Mahima, what is the glory of Radhika's praying? How wonderful is her praying? Just as Sri Krishna, when Sri Krishna finished his pastimes in this world in Golok Vrindavan, he was remembering Radharani. Don't think that Gora Lila is separate from Krishna Lila. Gora Lila is the Parishish, it is the appendix of Radha Krishna Lila. It is a fulfillment of the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. So Krishna was thinking and remembering Radhika and thinking, how great is her love, just as I am the abode of Viruddha Dharma, the abode of all mutually contradictory characteristics. So similarly, the love of Radhika is the abode of all Viruddha Dharma. Why? Because her love is all pervading, but still increasing. Her love is the greatest thing, but it is completely devoid of pride, no pride at all. And it is the purest thing, yet still, her love is completely beset with duplicity. Mm -hmm. Inside and outside, she has so many crooked moods that uh, attract the heart of Sri Krishna. Her love overpowers him, 
in separation from Radharani. See Krishna looks and sees see, see Mati Radhika everywhere. So Krishna admitted that Radhika Hara Prema Guru Ami Sisinat Ama Sadhanana Nitya Nataya Udbhat the power of the frame of Radhika is my guru and it causes me to dance newer and newer dances one of the dances that the frame of Radhika causes Krishna to dance is called Gora Lila for this so Maha Krishna he wanted to know what is the pranay the depth of Radhika's love in Krishna Lila he tried to taste it he tried to realize it during Rasa Lila see Krishna disappeared from Rasa Lila and from a hidden place he was watching how gopis and especially Radhika in her separation she was crying and glorifying Krishna in so many ways so he tried to see how deep was her love but he couldn't find the depth of it Srila Gurudev gave an example just like a man in a boat he wonders how deep is this river so he takes a stick and tries to test how deep it is and he puts a stick in the water and he cannot touch the bottom so he leans a bit further a bit further and then he falls in so in the same way Krishna he was trying to think how deep is Radhika's love how deep but he fell in and he became Satinanda and Gohari so Sri Radhaya Pranaya Mahima he wanted to know what is the pr Pranay the love of Radhika then he wanted to know what is the sweetness in me that only Radharani alone can taste through her love Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. When Kamsa Maharaj sees Krishna, he does not think Krishna is beautiful. He thinks he is like young, the Lord of Death, and he becomes afraid. But when the cowherd boys, Sridham, Arjun, Lavanga, Stoka, Krishna, Subhav, when they see Krishna, they, oh, he's very beautiful. And when Madhya Shoda sees Krishna, he appears more beautiful. When the gopis see Krishna, more beautiful. When Chandravali sees Krishna, more beautiful. But only Radhika through her brain sees the highest limit of Krishna's beauty. So see Krishna said, Ei prema dvare nitya radhika akale amara madhurya amrita ashode sakale Only Shimati Radhika through the power of her love is able to taste my madhurya amrita, the nectar of my sweetness, completely. No one else. And therefore Krishna had to first realize Radhika's love and then by that, he would be able to taste his own sweetness. This was a great mystery to Krishna, because there are so many contradictions in this Leela. First of all, Krishna thought, I give all happiness to all living beings. My fragrance gives fragrance to the world. My uh, flute sun gives very beautiful music to the world. My touch gives pleasure to the world. In all ways, I am the cause of happiness, but who will give happiness to me? Only if they were a hundred times more qualified than me, that person could give me happiness. But I am Krishna is Sarva Karna Karna, the cause of all causes. So how can there be anyone hundred times more qualified than him? But Krishna admitted, Oh, I have found a person more qualified than me. The daughter of Brishubhanu Maharaj. She's so qualified. When I hear her voice, I become overjoyed. And all of her senses give pleasure to all of my senses. It is so wonderful. But there's another contradiction. That when Radhika, not when she sees me, but only when she sees a tamal tree, then she embraces the tamal tree and thinks, now my life is successful. Radhika, when she hears me, no. When she does not hear me, when she hears only the wind blowing through the bamboo trees at Govardhan, <sighs> sounds a little like my flute, she becomes so happy. She closes her eyes and wants to fly into the breeze. When Radhika tastes me, no, not tasting me, only tasting my remnant, she becomes maddened with brain. So I understand, first of all, she is more qualified than me. So when I meet with her, I should feel more happiness than she does. But something happens when she meets with me, or no, even indirectly she meets anything that looks like me, she becomes more maddened than I do. How could that happen? There's only one answer to this dilemma, to this paradox. The answer is that there's so, there must be something about me that I don't know. <laughs> Krishna thought, I want to know what that is. So that was his second degree. What is it about me that makes 
radical become so mad? Then Krishna thought, when Radhika tastes my sweetness, she feels such happiness. It is indescribable. The great experts in the Kalm Shastra, like Bharat Muni, they have said, when the hero and the heroine meet together, they have equal happiness. But Krishna thought, Bharat Muni does not know my Vrindavan. Because when I meet with Radhika, I can see she experiences, oh, 10 million times more happiness than me. So Krishna can see that Radhika is so happy. He can smell that Radhika is so happy, but he cannot taste it. And he becomes very anxious for this. So he wanted to know what happiness she feels. Being overpowered by these three types of greed, then so kyam chasya madanu bhavataha kidrisham veti lobhat tar bhavadya samijani sachi garva sindo harindu If you see that the moon will rise out from the ocean, actually it's not rising from the ocean, it already existed, but it appears to rise from the ocean. So in the same way, the nitya surup of Satchinata and Gora Sundar appears from the womb of Satchimata in this world and performs the pastimes of fulfilling his internal and external desires to appear in this world. Satchinanda Gohari Ki! You heard all the Bhakta speakers. Very beautiful. And such Siddhant they told. Sriman Pan Maharaj, Suddhat Vaiti Maharaj, and in the end, Prem Priyajan. He likes polished everything. Now something I am going to tell. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu first ordinary Vajya region, secondary region was Dharma Pratishthanaya, Dharma Sansthapnaya, Sambhavami Jivaji. What then? Varnasram Dharma. But it is also secondary, not Varnasram Dharma. Then what Dharma? Sanatan Dharma. What is Sanatan Dharma? Krishna Premi Sanatan Dharma. But Krishna Premi is also of four kinds, five kinds, uh, four kinds. Dasya, Sakha, Basand, and Madhu. Madhu, right? uh, Madhu is also two kinds, Prakiya, Parkiya. And Parkiya has so many. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to establish Krishna Premi. Dasya, Sakha, Vasalya, and Madhu. But more something. Vishnu hmm. can establish Juga Dharma. And Kaljuga Dharma is Nam Sankirtan, to preach Nam Sankirtan. Once I told in a Sabha concept that Swamiji has not come to only to preach Nam Sankirtan. It can be done by Vishnu Tattva and his followers. But anyone cannot keep Krishna praying. So, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami main purpose was to preach Krishna praying. But at that time, his school leaders were not prepared to hear all these things. They opposed me. My Guru Dev has come to preach in name, name Sankirtan. They could not understand. So, Nam Sankirtan Juga Dharma, oh, this can be done by Vishnu Tattva also. Because when Krishna comes, all incarnation of Krishna, they comes in the Krishna body. And in the same way, Krishna is avatari. So, all incarnations, 
Nisimh Haram and all others are in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Chaitanya, by, by then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu like Advaita Chari and uh, Sarup Damodar, Raya Ramananda and others, he has done it. Now, <coughs> so, the Dharma Samsthapnaya means this. Also, Bhakti is of two kinds, Vaidhi and Raganuga. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has not come for Vaidhi only. Dhiruv Goswami Vahas said he has told in Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu and in Chaitanya Chaitanya Krishna Das, though it looks like Vaidhi Bhakti, but we see, oh, top of Aradhanuga Bhakti. So, Anartit Charin Chirat Karunaya Vatirna Kalo Samarapayitum Unnu Tajjala Sam Sava. They had explained this as well. In Vaidhi Bhakti, as what mood is there? In Raganuga, no aspartya, Mahathur. In Chaitanya Chaitamit, it has been told, Nam Prem Pracharite Ehi Avatar. Satya Ehi Hetu Kintu Iho Bhaviranga. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to Preach Nam Pre. What is Nam Pre? Hare Krishna Nam. But Nam Pre Gathi Mala Parai Dasabare. Jukudharma can give Nam and preach. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came especially Nam Pre. Prem is Sutra, Prem, and Prem is Dasa Sattva Vasalya Madhur, all are flowers, and they are, what? <laughs> so they are all jude hune hai, connected only by Prem Sutra, Prem is Ruh, without trade any mala cannot be done. So Mahaprabhu gave the name, oh, with pray. What pray? Oh, Das Sattva Vasilya Madhu, especially Madhu, especially Gopi's mood he gave. Prem Rash Nidyas, Karite Aspadan, Radha Rupakti Karite Pracharam, Loke Pracharam, Rasik Sekhar Krishna Paramakarun, Ehetu Haite Icharam. Aishwarja Gyanete Sab Jagatam Misri, Aishwarja Siti Preme Nahi Gurupi. Prem Ras Nedjas Karite Aswadam. Allahti Chiran Chirat, he gave Manjari Bhav Aradha Mood. But Prem Ras Nidyas, the essence of all the Rasas that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu want, uh, Krishna wanted to taste. Oh, anyone can do. Only, and it, is, it has been told in Radhaya Pranamahiva. They have explained. And Rag Bhakti Marga Prasharan, Doke Prasharan. Rag Marga Bhakti, oh, it can be given. What is Raga? Raga Nuga. First, you should know Raga Nika. Dasya, Sakha like Siddhan Subal Bhat Mangal Subal. 
बासल्य नंद बाबा जसोदा मैया इन अदर मधो लाइक गो देर रागात्मिक नॉट रागानुगा बट इन दिस लो इन दिस वर्ल्ड साधक इफ ही एज ए परफेक्ट गुरु क्वालिफाइड गुरु एंड ही विल फॉलो ही हिज इंस्ट्रक्शंस then automatically raganuga mark welcome that chaitanya mahaprabhu gave so our guru parampara oh guru keeps it rasik sekhar krishna param karu rasik sekhar krishna param karu he is rasik sekhar top of tester of ras and param karu very basiko very basiko and that is why he is desire came what desire came he thought as what jiganate is of jagat mishri in this world what ramanuj priest what madha chand priest what allaha chand what vishnu swami nimbaditya and others all as what jigan yukta No Krishna bhakti at all. Ramanu had not touched Krishna. Matacha, only as a bhasalya, and that was only a bhas. Semblance, not food. Matacha yes. And there are so many things which we don't accept of Madhat Matacha. Something we accept. Which is favorable and which is not favorable, he is that. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu rejects again. Udupi when he went there. <coughs> so, as far as the Sithil Preme Nahi Murupi, and not controlled by as far as the Sithil Preme, like Hanuman Preme. was sitting pandava very good very high but when arjun saw the bishwaru in vasal for and he becomes what he fear oh i have told him sakha krishna oh i have done wrong i have done offense please excuse me sitting So, as was a sitting preme nahi more feel. So, in Braja Valli, Sakhas preme, Basant preme, Nanda Baba Jasoda, and Madhu Rasvai Gopis. It is not. They are not sitting. They are not. not weekend right? right. here in the end the conclusion is krishna came in the form of chaitanya mahaprabhu to test radhika pranay What is pranay radha? You should know. Uttama bhakti is anya vilasita sundam. You know. But it begins from sabda. You should you know that what is sabda? Khanda khanda jadi koi de hoye pran, to ma ami badane nahi chaliya. If I will cut in my pieces. I will not give to chanting Krishna. If you have a sadha like this, this is for meditation. So you should keep your hands here and try to know, oh, what class of sadha in me. So, adho sadha, adho sadhu sangha. आदु फस साधु संग 
भाई साधु संघ श्रद्धा रियली क्वाटी साधु संघ कृष्ण सेवा कृष्ण If the desire comes, then it is like a seed of bhakti, and then sravan kirtani jale kare sinchan, and then waterized, given something, khad, 